All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to call the meeting to order tonight. It's Monday, July 15th, 2024. It's, uh, um, we're at 79 School Street. We do have people online. We have John Hogaboom, um, one of the select board members. And then we've got David Stapleton, it's a planning commission member. And that is it. Or Orca Media is also putting out as well. We're going to start with general public comment. Uh, we'll go to the tax rate, and then I'm going to reserve my right to deviate from the schedule, and then we're going to start talking about um, the flood and flood issues after we do the tax rate. Um, and then, depending on what time we have, we'll get back to other issues. The other thing I need to do tonight is we need to make sure we do the hazard mitigation uh, bids. So just if you're looking for certain things, I know, Travis, you probably the class four stuff, so it may or may not get done tonight. Um, so let's go ahead. Uh, what I'm looking for now is just general public comments. So if there's any general public comment um, aside from flood stuff, I'd like to hear it now. Sure. We may or may not, depending on time. Okay. Okay. Then we can um, probably do that fairly quick. Yeah. All right. So, is there any general public comments? Seeing here none, we're going to go ahead and talk about the tax rates. I have a follow up on my Yep. Sure, Travis. My, my concerns are with, um, I know we, I sat on a board a committee in this town regarding uh, class four town highway and legal trail. And at times like this, that is really concerning that uh, it takes the taxpayers' money that uh, potentially to work on some of these services on these class four town highways and legal trails. And uh, I hope that the uh, general taxpayer of Northtown realizes that, that comes out of their budget, our budget, meaning our taxpayer's money. It is not a reimbursement from FEMA in any way, as far as I've been told from the committee. And it's really concerning when uh, our towns and our general roads that need so much work currently and time to take on that uh, we are considering working on those services in this new policy and, and elaborating more on it. Um, and there's one more thing, Tom, this is directed towards you. Last year, you said something about me and started a rumor about me saying that you had no stocking order against me. And it's on video today. For, for, for record, you entered my residence when it had nothing to do with the legal litigation, and I hired a sheriff to serve you paperwork for no truck passing. You never got anything. That for the record. And for the Tracy Doherty shit in the case, that was a false affidavit that I won in the court and that cost me $6,000. I hope the general public can speak to their minds in these meetings and all the meetings within, within the town without having to worry about somebody spreading rumors about them to come up and Tracy Doherty going out to file this affidavit and took up a lot of work. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Well, Travis, just to clarify, I did have to have a uh, no trespass against you uh, when you threatened to kill me. Travis. I never threatened. Yes, you did, it, but I don't want to get into it. It's uh, it's all in the building papers. I never, I never threatened you. I never said a thing like that. I never ever would say a thing like that to a person in my life. Well, you did, and uh, there was a witness to it, and that's why the police took the the weapon. I know. Even that you sent to the police, and it does not say that for the record. Okay. And it is on the record. Please, Sherilyn, you want to move ahead with the um, tax rate? Thank you for your time. If it's just general public comment, go ahead. Okay, I want to address the, uh, the traffic condition on 21 Road. 
Very chance you could move the speed control sign gap yeah, top of the hill. As I come down my hill, I can't see the south because the machine is right my business, my business. It should be at the top of the hill when the traffic first approaches should be there. And can you talk to the town of Wakefield or, or Payson who has the other machine and put her on the other end by uh, Fred Ventures house where they all turn and come this way? Have you guys been up there? It's like the 80, Route 89 on the back side of the river. No, we have, and we've uh, contacted both the state police and the sheriffs and asked them to do more patrols. Some, but not, not enough, particularly on the weekend. And I don't, I know the town's really busy with all that project, but we got some washouts overpass uh, Dan Farmer's house by the uh, Reed's house. There's a major washout there. And there's one right at the top of the hill going past Jenna's greenhouse next to my mother's old house. And that's a very narrow section of road. I have to stop there whenever a tractor driver or a tent is going up the hill. You can't pass it because of the washout on the right side of the road. No, when we're going to talk about, we're going to, we have a slide with the, uh, some of the, the damage and Ray's going to address uh, what we're doing and some of the things that are going on. I know you got bigger fish to fry. I tried to get the feet. He was working all the day to get some water. I didn't know. I thought it was just miscellaneous washout. They were, they were Did you get to the end of it? They were replaced a big pot of above. I had to turn around. But yeah. anyway, the other thing is uh, you only, they only mow with a with a sidearm mowing machine. I think the houseboy does it. And he does the best he can. They just came up and made one pass on both sides of the road. Can you hire a professional roadside mower to mow our road? And at the bottom of our hill, going up toward Jenna Greenhouse, there's a great big bush there on Stevens' property that needs to be cut. It's certainly in your town right away. You can't see credit. When you go into that bush, you can't see cars coming down the hill. I think it's not weed. Pardon? I think it looks like not weed. Big pile. I don't care what it is. No, it's not. Cut. I know, it's on the way. And the side road needs to be cut. The brush needs to, the grass needs to be cut on the right-hand side of my mother's old place going down the hill. They never mowed that whole side of the road. So let me we'll, we'll move on. Let me just address you before you go on. Uh, the roadside mowing, we actually haven't started. So anything that's been done, the Eric, Eric is just doing that on his own. He's just being a good guy and mowing it. What we do is we typically rent a mower. Uh, and then we have a mower and a, a gentleman go out on it. And then we just rent the mower and do a second pass with one of the uh, employees. Is Duxbury hires a guy from Jericho. It's a great uh, promoter, roadside mower. Mm -hmm. He's not coming until the middle of August. I already stopped. I got his phone number. So I got a couple of roads I'd like to have done, private driveways. But I just, he said, oh, I can't remember the calls and the need to schedule them. It's probably going to be in August. Yeah, he's pretty good. He comes all the way over to do uh, Ward Hill. Probably can you pass it on to Sasha or Cheryl Lynn? What's that? Can you pass his number on to Sasha and Cheryl Lynn? Thank you. Cheryl Lynn? Uh, if you look at the total expenditure request, 1.674838. And it also shows the surplus that we have in 2023. And then down in the orange, you can see the total anticipated income. And oh, let me just read that out. So it's anticipated income of 239338 Um, that Tax requests one million six hundred seventy four thousand eight hundred thirty eight dollars and fifty seven cents. We're going to apply the last year's uh, surplus of eighty seven thousand eight hundred two. Uh, less our anticipated income of two hundred thirty nine thousand three hundred thirty eight dollars thirty six cents, and that's going to a net request to the. Uh, uh, taxpayers of one million three hundred forty-seven thousand six hundred ninety-seven dollars and thirty-two cents. What about two thirty? I'm saying it's two forty-six. 
That's incorrect. Two forty six of them. Do you have a different number? Yes, I do. Okay. There was two different two copies. Yeah, so you have the right here. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank All you. Right. So, back up to speed. So, we are requesting one million three hundred forty-seven thousand six hundred ninety-seven thousand uh, two hundred ninety-seven dollars thirty-two cents. Um, so that is going to give us a calculated tax rate uh, total of one point six six. Four nines. So that is actually 33% lower than it was last year. Um, but you need to remember your reappraisals went up. So uh, it's, you can't, there's no average what one's taxes will go up this year. But I think it's going to be, uh, in fact, I know it will be better than most of us have anticipated. Because I've gone through and done uh, some random taxes from last year and this year, and it's I've seen anywhere from three to fourteen percent, um, depending on what their appraisals went up. And remembering the appraisals went up, uh, if you did significant um, uh, upgrades, added land, it might go up more than uh, uh, the average. But um, I think this will give us. Uh, a fairly decent um, return here. Um, and so I would move that we go ahead and, and, and move with the 1.66 without adding any ARPA funds to it. Um, what's everyone's thoughts? I agree. I'll yeah. second that. Dave, what we got for our thoughts? Another day, yeah. It would be better to use some like one time expenditures or fire projects. Yeah. Yeah. That's for the child and the school tax. Yeah. It does. The, the town tax rate alone is 0.35. Yeah. It's down 20 cents. Okay. And the school tax rate is down about 60 cents. It was 1.944, and now it's 1.31. Mm -hmm. We're not going to see LA at 110. Yeah. yeah, I think the CLA, or that, that's what saved it. Yeah. There's one thing on your taxes or our school taxes as a town that we can affect. It's with the uh, keeping the CLA up. Um, so I think that will be a benefit there. So the motion, I will move that we go ahead and accept the 1.66 uh, tax rate for the residential and 1.61 tax rate for the non-resident tax payer. Um, is there a motion? I'll second that. Or is there a second, excuse me, thank you. John seconds, any further discussion? The second lower tax rate is lower than the primary. It is. Yeah. Wasn't that supposed to be dealt with a long time ago? They were getting more. Yeah. That's where the, I mean, the town tax rate is the same for them, the municipal, but the school is set by the state. Set by the state. And yeah, it is less. I mean, it does shock you that there are second homes for these folks and they're paying less than what we pay. Granted, they're not using as many. Um, uh, town resources and services, but such as so the motion on the floor. All in favor, vote aye. 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 So that's passed. Thank you, Sherilyn. And those tax bills will probably be in the mail tomorrow. Tomorrow on Wednesday. Wednesday. All right. So now we're going to go go ahead and move on to. Uh, Flood stuff. What I want to start with, though, is um, just go through and look a little bit, everyone, and see really what's out there. Um, you guys see, people can move up if you want. Watch everyone move up. Sit down, Mike. And Ray, if you want to 
Maybe you can. Uh... All right. So this is Honan Road. Um, looks like we have Culver out there. Is obviously where we went. Parks Road. You can see the bridge is out there. Um, and the the lead up to it. Stevens Brook. So that started at 100B and went up, if you're familiar with Stevens Brook, just south of Crowley's place. So um, all in anywhere from what you see, 10 feet wide, uh, 8 to 10 feet deep, all the way up through. And then as you uh, got to the Middlesex line, or the Duxbury line, line, where you may have seen that today, that five-foot culvert was out twisted in fact this is uh, that may be part of it there and where the brook went through um took over where the pull-off was where the trucks turn around and it went down the side of the road there for a while so just a real mess there i haven't seen so much and here it is right here and there's the little there's a little camper cabin to the left yeah Hey, Tom, Tom, this is Dave Stapleton. I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, the the slides aren't advancing on the on my screen. Is there something else Sasha needs to do? Um, I don't know. See, Dave, I'll uh, I'll need to send you the slides. I guess I don't know um, why they're not. It, it's, it shows that they're sharing here, and. Yeah. You're on yeah, the... That's fine. That's fine. Thanks. Uh, this is Jonesbrook. See the water still uh, moving pretty hard there. Can we go back to the Bradley one. Or... Oh, sorry. I didn't move. So Bradley Road up on the uh, the mountain. Jonesbrook. Is that pass? Is that one by Ray's house or is that a by that's your house? Yours? Yeah. Yours? yeah. And that's on the bottom of the board work. And this is the new um box culprit that we put in last time, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, no, it's Irene, not last year. Or, or I mean, yeah. more ward brook. That's all the word too. Yeah, I think so. No. Oh, no, that's not. Or the mountain road. All right. It's passing right. All right, John, were you able to see any of those? You're on. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Were you able to see any of those pictures? Uh, no, just the first ones. All right, sorry about that. I don't know what happened there. Okay. So uh, the purpose showing, I just want everyone to get an idea of the scope uh, of the flood uh, and the severity of it. it. I think in Irene, we've had pockets here and here or last year uh, during the summer. You know, there was, I think we had Lover's Lane um, and Jonesboro. There were a couple. Yeah, um, yeah. But George broke it right my last year. So yeah. she was get on the last section as well as well so yeah. um but not quite as i mean it's much worse than we've had uh with the widespread i mean it's it's everywhere it was cobb hill too cobb hill yeah. um state could probably attest to they just got out of there i think they were i think cobb hill was one of the the last homes uh up in the class war part uh yeah. That was out on Saturday. Um, so people were as late as Saturday evening still trapped in their, their homes. I think Dave was on the class three. Yeah, Dave's, Dave's on the class three part. Dave's on the class three. Yeah. The class three up to the class four part was. Or a trip. Trip. Yeah. 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 Yes, the road is over the top. It's it's one lane. Sure, the road the road has closed. Limited to you know, locals. 
as much as possible. Like, like, like every other field. Field. You can. Yeah. Yes, you can yeah. go to North Hills. All the roads are. And I, I heard on the radio today uh, the governor put in for FEMA for Washington County. So he said that they should be able to, the president should start being able to file plans pretty soon. The town will be able to do that also. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah, what we're waiting on. Yeah, the governor made a declaration for but for residents, if you got FEMA last year, you can't get it. You cannot get it again. Yeah, yeah. They tell you that when you get your FEMA money, if you get FEMA money, you do not get it again. Because you bought health insurance, you know. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, these are what I'm saying. Forty-nine thousand dollars. So what they're saying is if they paid you off, you know, if you have a hundred thousand dollars worth of flood insurance and they give you a hundred thousand dollars, they're basically saying they've taken that equity away from you and that's the last time you're gonna get it. So is that retroactive back to hiring? It's just one I believe it's one time. Yeah, yeah that is per, per right. property, it's one residence. What does it change ownership? I'm assuming that would make a difference. I do you have to talk to your in you know, your actual one talking with whoever your insurance company, but that's what I've always been in the state. I mean, I'm not a legal person, but that's what I've always been. Personal coordinator for I only handle the you only handle for the county part of it. I don't live in the private property part. Because that's what Deborah Stone did back in 2001. Right. She was our zoning administrator at the time. Yeah. Yeah. Our zoning administrator at this time did that. We had significant um, property damage then. We've seen a lot less of that mm -hmm. this time. I mean, any is significant, but last year we had, or during Irene, there was every, or most properties in the village were, were swamped. Mm -hmm. And I think we had some basements, plus Meg Schultz got it fairly hard in the village. Um, People at the end of Cobb Hill on the other end of uh, in the in the Waterbury side got hit uh, very hard as well. Um, so different, and we're trying to. And there are a few people on Route Two that have repeatedly got hit. Uh, I think it's Steve Longchamp uh, or the, or his neighbors in that area. Um, but we are reaching out. And one of the neighbors we got hit too. Did you? All right, yeah, so we're trying to still assess and, and asking people to um, come let the office know. I'll also call 211. Is that true? Yeah, you have to call 211 because that's how we end up getting declared a disaster. It's by your reporting your your Yeah. So if anybody you talk to that has reported, they encourage them to That's what helps the state. When I call them on Thursday, they just or take calls off and be okay. They were on lockdown. We'll call again. We have had a chance to go So, is there any um, comment? And then I'm going to ask Ray to sit down and, and share what he uh, did today. He he visited with the state, uh, started at 10 o'clock this morning, and just I spoke to him at 4 30 and he was just getting finished. Um, and he went and assessed. So that we could make our declarations uh, for disaster, or the state was adding their bunch to it, so they could push it up. So we have the the money. And if Hoover, if you've heard that uh, Washington County has already been declared, that's that's good news. I mean, it's not good news, but it's good news that it was declared. John. <laughs> Have you looked into uh, 
During Irene, uh, Governor Schoen brought all the restrictions on board and were taken on by him. You think they think you can get Governor Scott to waive that? You got gravel bars all up and down this river. They have for you sent by rain. When I rain went, they make this they're gonna take the gravel out. Big Kingsbury, Kingsbury construction between this whole river out from here to Grand the Woods. All that gravel is stacked on the side of the road down on Wakes Hill and not far down there. But the river the, the gravel bar up by Kingsbury's, that's just gonna cause a of flooding here in the village. But there's no place for the water to go. Up by uh uh, that's my mother's place. That gravel bar needs to come out of there. I, 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 this gravel bar is still out more time. They, they, all, they all have to come out. But they used to take them out all the time. Every time. They took all the gravel out from the town, break them right behind the town hall. Yeah. Well, the, I, 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 we all know that. It's been with the government the practice. Well, the equipment can't get in the river. And he's been in construction. And, you know, it's doing all you work. Yeah. Yeah. He's got all that big equipment. He, he comes out with a statement that he can't get in the river. And they cleaned all these channels out right after uh, Irene. And it hasn't been done since. Anyone can file. Yeah. Anybody can file. Yeah. Yeah, they tell you, at that point, they tell you to take out five truckloads. Yeah. That's all they let you take out of Disney Park. But when they put a point like Shumlin opened it up, you can take all you want. And right. Big Kingsbury yeah. cleaned this whole river out all the way from here to Rambo Woods. I, I uh, truly I couldn't agree with you more. Um, I remember Shumlin, he was standing on the back of a truck over here in the sawmill when he said, dig deep and crazy or something like that, or something like that. Mm -hmm. And we did as a town, we stacked up a, a bunch of gravel. We used some on the river road. Mm -hmm. um, so I I see the value in it. Um, well, I think 10 years later or less than, or, you know, 12 years later, 13 years later, um, oh, they're all there, uh, big and maybe bigger and better. It's, I think it's something we can look into. Uh, we've been busy the last few days to be, you know, getting onto that stuff, but uh, we will certainly be talking about mitigation going forward. Um, in fact, we have a mitigation um, uh, recommendation tonight to go ahead. We're getting a, a proposal to do some consulting to, to look at what type of mitigation we should do. So we've got a, a grant. So we will award that tonight so we can get someone to come in and, and, and take a look at, you know, some of the mitigation we should do. I've also, on Friday, I was meeting with um, Senator Welch, and he mentioned to me they had a grant for $55,000 for consulting to come in and take a look at mitigation um, going forward. Um, so, I mean, we, I understand that there's a lot of things I think most of us could probably do. No, I, and I didn't want to get into that, but and, and I understand that part of it too. Uh, but um, we need to move forward with figuring out what to do so we can mitigate some of these things that are going on. We're seeing, you know, box culverts go out time after time or, or culverts that are doing it. So we need to try to figure out, do we size up? Do we do, what do we do different? We need to do something different. I don't know what it is. Uh, in some areas I could probably give you an, an idea, but... Let's let the experts tell us. And then, can you, uh, excuse me, local fan, can you possibly make contact with the Wingsfield Basin and Water and see if the five or four towns can uh, get together and write one letter? Or make on, the, uh, on the, on the, graduating? Tracking, I'll do that. I think if you had all four towns get down to them, the Wingsfield's been a major problem right by the Covered Bridge. The gravel is higher on the south end of the covered bridge than it is uh, in the underneath of the covered bridge. And they wonder why they're worried about that flood now. And again, they took that all out of there right after I mean, But the kids got to swim. It's fair request. I'll do that. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Hey, Ray, why don't you go ahead and grab a seat? Um, and why don't you share? What you're, what we, sh what we're up against, and what we need to do. Okay, so I think I believe it's around fifteen roads uh, that we gain this morning, and uh, and we've been working almost nonstop during daylight hours to get them open. And to my knowledge, everybody is accessible now. 
some of the roads have road closed signs on them. They're one lane, it's only for locals, let's say. I don't know a lot of people are using that. So everybody should have access. We are working towards getting those lanes back open. We have, I believe, six different contractors working for us at this point, plus the town crew. Uh, the big item is material to get, get back in. Yeah. You may notice there's a pile out here. Uh, we went through yesterday, uh, probably a thousand yards of the gravel that was piled up, up here. Uh, then that was on a Sunday. Yeah. So everybody just working really hard to get this in uh, back to the study field of uh, safety conditions. Uh, <clears throat> so today I spent uh, almost all day riding around uh, with the state looking at different uh, sites. Uh, <coughs> and they are offering to uh, any assistance as far as design work on culverts. Now, uh, basically, we're finding that a lot of these large culverts that we put in there in Irene fail. And they're not uh, failing because of uh, not necessarily uh, just water, it's, it's uh, woods, uh, trees, and stumps blocking them. So we need to design bigger to accommodate this. And uh, so they'll be working on a lot of that. Uh, it's going to be expensive. And uh, with the FEMA declaration, uh, we'll get at least a 75% reimbursement from the federal government. Uh, last year, storm, we're getting 75% in the state storm and another 200%. So it's going to end up being about 10% of the total cost of the storm last year, which we don't know the final number yet because we're still working on the something for some of the work that we've done last year. And unfortunately, some of the work, particularly Warbrook, we spent uh, half a million dollars on last year and it it was it's gone. It really is gone. Uh, again. Um, so uh, there's a lot of issues out here. Dredging is one of them, uh undersized culverts. It, it's just a lot of things uh, going on right now. Uh, and there's a lot of people working very hard to, to solve problems. Uh, it's, you know, it's countywide, it's statewide, so we're going to get there. It. it just takes a while. Is there any particular question on any, any road? That, uh, any... I'd just like to thank you for going out to the state and stuff, Ray, and just evaluating everything, trying to assess it, and when you have a background, I can actually go off and that. I really appreciate that. And uh, more time now, I'd like to say a thank you to whoever gave the uh, approval to do work on the road as soon as it was damaged. Uh, they were there at 7 30 in the morning. They made it to one lane. So, whoever gave that approval, uh, that crew coming in was amazing. It's a great recovery after uh, the storm and model. Thank you. Uh, I think I will go through this next outstanding crew. And uh, in general, every I mean, it's not, it's not yeah. a town, it's, sure. it's, a, it's a great, it's a community thing, and we've worked well as a community. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I was going to say the, the call started around 4 a.m. to contractors uh, because knowing that what was happening in the state. We needed to get get them first <laughs> and also get them, they were the first at the gates to get the rod. Um, so we got to head up and get a little heads up on everybody. And it's just because everyone was willing to work together. Um, and I think, unfortunately, with our experience, we know that we just need to go ahead and do it and do it. You know, it's not going to get any cheaper. And as long as you document um, everything, FEMA is going to give you the same if you do it today or if you do it six months from now. Um, but the thing, everyone came in, all the the crews, I mean, we got Cassell out of Menden, which I guess they brought in dozers and uh, excavators and their flag people, and they just had everything tuned in. We've got Mike Avery that's doing a hell of a job, uh, Hallstrom, Nick Pizzelli, Josh Sherman. Josh Sherman. I mean, all these guys, and I probably forgot some of them. Shane Elwalia. Jake Shane Elwalia. He was up with his dozer getting the uh, mountain road open for us. 
um, and I think he moved over to uh, Lover's Lane to get that because Lover's Lane got destroyed again. So yeah. there's just Caleb a Dean, that Caleb there. Dean. Yep. Uh, so everybody's jumped in there, but it's really yeah, the progress is there. And and I think it's all gone fairly smooth. I know there's been, you know, a, a few issues. Um, there are the issues certainly with um, the flooding down here in the village. Uh, and there was a lot going on social media that quite frankly, I don't think is helpful. Um, and it's inaccurate and it was wrong um, on a number of points. So, um, you know, that's unfortunate, but those type of things uh, do happen. Um, so I don't, I, that's all I have to say about that. But um, I don't know, Don. What's your what's your thoughts? Anything? Uh, uh, you go do you have any update on the bridge uh, up by Whittier? The state, if you want to see what your plans are for that bridge, they they are they're full blown working on it. They were going to bring in a Bailey Bridge, yeah. Um, and I would expect that sooner than later. Um, they're really the state is really hopped on and if you've known or obviously if you've been down 100 b you've seen they've got uh those guys moving this way and they they started I, i'm going to say that morning of thursday morning they were they were down there assessing that bridge and, and, and prepping for it so they know that's a main artery both in and out of the valley um, and certainly with the other side the, the word hill there yeah. gone as well that's a priority for them no, 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 they haven't said, you know, we're going to do it by Friday, but <laughs> I'm <No>. open. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they have. They said they'd like to have it done by the end of the week, but I, I'm not going to hold it to them, and I don't want to get it out there. It's going to be done that soon. So, um, yeah, we have, you know, one, one, one issue that has been, I was made aware of today is a lot of people don't believe that the road is closed um and they see the the sign the bridge is closed and you know a, a, a car got between the truck backing up to dump you know they pulled around the truck went between the dump spot and this guy's backing up and, and they didn't have backers you know because they don't think that anyone's going to be behind them you know and then there were two bikers that got in the way. And so if you see people, just remind them that closed is closed, you know. <laughs> uh, I mean, they're lucky, you know, because um, would, they would have been, you know, SOL uh, because they had a truck called the aggregate being ready to be dumped off. Um, they worked till 10 o'clock last night, too. So they only had yeah, hired about that. Yeah, most a lot of the crews I know on Jones Brook, I think Casella was been working until ten o'clock at night. Yep. Yeah, I mean, yeah. At least nine. Yeah. 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 And they're up there at oh they were they've been up there super uh, they've been really, really doing a great job. Yeah. I, I mean they're just doing a They're keeping stuff moving. They're very considerate when it comes to residents coming and going. Uh an excellent All right. Is there any other questions, comments? Dick, you wanted to make a comment? Yeah. But how do you have indicated that out of course? I mean, that is actually we just put in a couple of we'll um make a commitment to put back home and get it. Except that this whole process really has been kind of terrible. I mean, um, one thing that when you called me, you kind of threatened me with the whole idea of um, that we had to do this or we were taking the ultimate step of, of backing up the river and, and the bringing the valley uh, through, through the road. Um, the road crew did that today. And uh, if if there is going to be any kind of trust between us, we need to take that down right away. Uh, it, it's a big divot in the road. I, I'm not sure 
unless unless you have a, a, an outback or anything low, lower than that, it's going to go into that ditch, as well as the whole question of an ambulance coming. Through. So I hope that we can get the highway, the, the road to remedy you there. I'd but, like to know what gave you the permission to come on a private drive and do that to something that we just had filled in so that we could get out of our own. We're not, we're not on a private drive, we're on it a town a drive. drive. And it's uh, Dick, have you so Dick, 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 this is my wife. That's right. We, we don't have a unanimity of uh, opinion on a lot of these things. All right. Well, you know, <laughs> so, we had to pay to have the bill so we could get out. We had, we've been talking about this since last year to have that fixed. It's, and my last conversation was in March with Dick, and he told me he had a quote for it, and as soon as the uh, weather would permit it, it would be done. And this has happened, so we need to do something. <laughs> he just said, I told him. The thing is that we graded the road just so we could get up and down. We can't fix the road for the next couple of weeks, uh, because there's no there's no uh, dirt around. I mean, we haven't done anything with the banks or anything else. I mean, we just you know we just did to get down, and all of a sudden uh, we see the blockage, and we see a big divot uh, for the road for the water to go across the road. I mean, you know, I. This is the first time since last December that we are talking about doing something on the road. Uh, so I, I'm just. Well, it's, it's not. not it's, I have your emails from. from do well, you, we don't want to swap the town. Now. I'm sorry. I mean, you got some of your neighbors in front of you. Burning, right? You just burned. You've been burning all the way through, and the whole thing is going to be ten dollars a month. Yeah, right. You've heard of it. She took it. She's on my side. She just made it ten dollars a month. And you have to do it. You have to do it. Did you have a report that showed that this one road in particular was going to cause that significant kind of damage, and what? What this kind of action will do and how it would have an overall impact compared to all of the other mitigation that we excuse me, that needs to be done. I am uh Angela Thompson because of my parents, I grew up on that road as well. Uh to have them, my dad was just had to be rushed to the hospital last uh February to have them be in this not created unsafe condition that they had had fixed. To temporarily be safe is very concerning to me, and I think it should be to everyone, especially without proper notice. Well, it wasn't. Wait a second, it, uh, and I don't know what it looks like. The idea was just to go up, put a berm, in, a small berm in, which we put in. Small berm coming down to the city from my car, which is a road, which albeit is not as high up as some others, but also not as low. It bottomed out very, very slowly. On the front end of my car. That's not. That's all not. right. So look, 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 we're making a commitment that we'll put in the culvert as soon as we can fix the road, which uh, hopefully will be in the next two weeks. Right. Yeah. Yeah. How do we know this is a solution? So they civil engineer. It's just what you think or what some well it was a culvert there, Michelle. Go ahead. So I'm on the other side and I flood every time the school floods. And so I'm concerned and hold up we we started this discussion in December. And so I guess my question to Fox for our association would be do you have an engineering report? Have you gotten the culverts? Because my dad keeps flooding, and I have a forty thousand dollars septic system, and so maybe we could come together and decide like what the good next steps. I'm happy to come together. I don't want to talk about my house under a lot. This is the first I've heard about it, and I don't think one town officials called me all the way up and said, "Here, commit by Sunday." There's a way to do the process, but 
this, this, this has gone on for a long time, and there was commitments made. Fixing that culvert there, have you been up prior to the driveway? He does not have a 30 inch culvert. So if we put a 30 inch culvert there, it's going to blast across. It's going to hit Craig's driveway. It's going to dam up. When it blows Craig's driveway, it's going to destroy Creighton's house and wreck the Fulton even more, plus the houses the right here. You don't start at the top of the problem. You start at the bottom of the problem. Let me, can I make a point? Go ahead. Yeah. Well, this is all about climate change. Climate change is all about climate change. I mean, it, we had the rain in December, we had the rain now. We got to figure out some way of putting some resiliency into how we get the water off of an area which is 225 acres down to the Mad River without going damaging everybody's property. I mean, this is a big, this is this is what we have to look at. I mean. You know, the state is really focused on resiliency in, in the urban areas. They need to look at how do we deal with some of the things in the rural areas. I talked to Gary Bowen today, uh, and and I'll also talk to another rep she's elected. Uh, and uh, I, we need to come up with something. Who does the legwork? Who does the legwork to find that civil union? Well, I think it's got to be on the private landlords. If you guys are Michael Brown, you just right the third wire tag will eventually come to public property. Right, and then that way. So, yeah. right. so that but, should be a shared. Well, at the point where it keeps flooding, I mean, if you get this is like getting the legal debate, but like if your culvert keeps flooding, like overrunning because it's undersized and flooding the school, like well, you have to start there. And there are calculators based on the size of the watershed as to how big your culvert right. should be. Uh, and these are three online. It's not just I'm sorry. Right. Your culvert, your bridge, whatever. How how big your ditch should be, how often you should have a culvert. These are metrics that are out there and publicly available and free. And most contractors just have it off the top of their head or in their pickup. So just but, that's my two cents. Wait, it's an acid rain, it's a, a climate change issue. When we get five and a half inches of rain, the six inches. I don't know if that COVID is going to help or not, but we've got to start thinking about this as a town. And the fact is that there must have been some compromise between how our uh, valley and private citizens to get together on some of these issues. I, I mean, this may take state legislation, but we need to start focusing on what the real problem is and how do we deal with it? Is it, is it uh, possible to put some holding ponds up on top of it? I so I have a holding pond yeah, and it can be used for a spillway. Granted, we have the ability to drop all the water before said events and use it as a spillway. But after that, it's going right into the Fulton's basement mm -hmm. and we would have to put a culvert that goes straight into the Mad River on the edge of Marvin Kingsbury's property. But it's, I mean, I, I can, right. I, what, this is what I have seen. And I can level up around tool. There are culverts that are bought on that road and they've been blocked since last July. And we've talked about it several times. We talked about it this spring when we had mm -hmm. one buddy. And you we were there at that little meeting. You said you would hire the contractor and you were going to do the calls. And that was a name. I have, I have, I have, I have an estimate on what is going to cost to fix that call. And I made a commitment to do that. I, the thing is that, you know, since I had this discussion with Tom, you, you end, yeah, I ended up with a big pile of dirt walking up the stream in a big divot in our road, you know, because of the, 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 the water. I mean, when I went to the library today, I found pictures of the town. It's been flooded since the 20s, 30s, the 40s, long before our driveway was there. To say that that driveway is what's causing all the problems now is ridiculous. And yes, we do have to make adjustments because of more rain, more frequent and more severe storms, obviously, but it's not just our drive that needs to be have these adjustments made. So I, I don't 
I don't understand where yeah. they came up with this. Well, there's a ditch that goes on the school property around the playground. That ditch is designed to catch the water that's behind the school. It's not yeah. designed. It's not designed to catch the water that's coming down far Fox Farm Road. It is designed to catch that water because the water uh, from your road has always crossed over to the culverts the like it's supposed to do. And the culverts are blocked. And that's why look, we have a problem at the base of the road because the culverts are blocked up the road. Okay. Brandon, right, two years ago, you, you did a bunch of work out here for drainage and on school. Yeah. But tell me about after that, they said somebody put a sled on top of the, uh, mm -hmm. the manhole. That's one of the product problems. I don't think taking whatever you did for work out here never taking care of the water problem around here. The, well, the state even said it didn't take care of the water problem because that wasn't part of, part of what they look at. But if you, if you got a state you got storm drains out on the highway out here that have been there for a hundred years, you don't address that. You put in sidewalk. You want to put in more sidewalk. You want to put a three and a half million dollar sewer system in here for uh, 20, 28 houses, twenty nine houses. If you guys look into the new system, they could put their own system in back down the river. You know, John Fulton. I, I don't know why we're talking about that. the new system. Well, because of the you guys spend it and you're not you're not running a rock mover. You got you got antiquated storm drains out here that haven't been fixed, but you got brand new those, those storm drains were just replaced. Just replaced them. The storm Our drains were replaced two off years ago. The street? Yes. Yeah. The whole way to the river. Yes. All the way to the they certainly aren't taking care of the uh, store. The farm. farm. When we when we did the sidewalk, we put all those sort of things through the village mm -hmm. on this side. Of the did you, did it pick it up past the big house? They picked it up all the way up to to the big house. The big house. Okay. And if it's not working, so you didn't do anything with the town of all the money you spent for any of that to mitigate any of the water problems from the big house up to Marble Kingsbury, John Bowles, and all the hurdle of it. You just want Fox Run to fix the problem, but if you want to blame it on them because the water's going to fall. The last, the, the two times the school's flooded within seven months, it's come from Fox Farm Road. So we're not just making something up. You know, I'm just a taxpayer. there. I don't live down here in the village. No, but, really. you know, like twice within seven months, the school is flooded and the water has come from the Dale Fulbright's on that road. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't make a rocket. It doesn't make a rocket. Yeah. Yeah. Well, technically, the water came off the school property about the block farm road. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The town where you go from is the Come on. I remember we're going. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's in one color. It's all about all these problems. But the fact is, we're getting unprecedented storms. I mean, we're willing to work with you. But I, like I said, I don't think last minute all made it. I haven't heard about this stuff. I just found out about it. You know, Sunday morning when they sent me an email saying we were getting all the mail to fix it and they're going to block the road. Yeah. We, Michelle, go ahead and then we're going to close out. So it's a station, right? Yes. So my understanding is that from Tech is that Dick is the head of the association. So shouldn't this have been an association discussion? Again, I'm not going to say the same thing. I'm just looking at it before. Shouldn't have been an association discussion back in December when like, we all flooded like, then, and then we all flooded in March? Uh, I'm going to say again in late summer. Um, we had Grandma Bell and Fry, but it doesn't, it, I, I don't want to say it's a problem in South Hill. I got 20,000 of them down to the store. So, you know, sorry if I wasn't paying attention back then. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, maybe. And, um, Michael, uh, we have discussed it. Uh, the thing is that we had just put ten thousand dollars into that road, and uh, you know, I, we were looking for this time to fix the road. And again, I made a commitment that we would go with the culvert. What I'm asking the town to do, the good faith effort, is take down that wall that you built and fill in our, our driveway to where it was. Okay, we will. As long as we can, we have an agreement here that that's going to happen. And if we see that we're going to have torrential storms, we'll have to put something or do something so it's not rushing down the hill. We don't go up and carry some of that auto part. Just see that and then do something else. Don't go up and uh, You winter in my house. Don't just think you're okay. all this. Right. Is the berm on town property? Is that correct? No. 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 Oh, oh, no. Yeah. Okay. I was like, okay. All right. We did. We did that Wednesday. Whatever. So, wait, Don, just don't.
How many books are part of it? 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 How many a private road and then uh, you know these culverts that are private and then what the town is going to do. We came tonight because we're looking for some solutions. We want to work together. We are willing to do what we can as the folks who have like the, this pond part to, to try to help make things work. I don't think it's our pond that's really the cause of this, but we're just kind of sandwiched in the middle. And I, I just want to say we, we just want to try to find a way that this doesn't happen to any of us, and that's why we're here. So if there's ways to focus on that, that would be really helpful for me as someone who's dealing with what's my side of the house. Yeah, up front of the house. And and watching my neighbors, you know, with trying to assess their damage and not have water and doing their laundry and bringing each other's food. Like that's where we're at right now. And we need some just movement forward. And I think it's going to take some from the private road. I think it's going to take some commitment from the town. I don't know what that is. Well, but that's that what I was talking about the today. We convert to put that over and we do send up that water. Those other culverts in the your pond. I mean, if that thing overwhelms your pond and that thing breaks, and you know, it's all a disconnect that you go over it, won't just take up and have a lot of time. The culverts are already, the culverts have already been there. So it's not like we're doing something new. We're just. Yeah. And he did talk to the fire department about blowing them out. And the fire department volunteer. I appreciate the fact that they're willing to do it, but it's on their schedule. And you know, we're, we have two 30 inch shelf or two 18 inch shelters there. We're trying to get them blown out. That's better than one third. So, you know, we, we've got it. Like, it's just like I said, it's the idea that you just go on the private road and start, start doing what you want. Well, I can assure you, we this is not nothing new, and you've heard it, but. I've worked on this for a long time with Dick. It was last year. There was I'm talking to the every source of potential water that's coming through. Because it's not just one. That field by the school has always been wet. So where is that water coming from? Where is it coming from on the other side of the road? Where's well, that's everything if you want a plan of action? That's going to cover everyone's property that has been dealing with the flood. Well, I think maybe with this this federal money that I spoke to um, Senator Jeffers about, maybe that mitigation money we can apply to some of these situations or ask them to look at these situations here, um, because there there is there's there's a tremendous amount of. Uh, interest to get it fixed and fixed right and, and work together. I mean, on my part, just for, you know, yeah, right. I feel how I, I've worked on this and I thought things had been done and they hadn't. Uh, so if you've read the, 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 the social media and you've seen everything that blew up, you know, my phone blows up, my email blows up, you know, because the town gets blamed for it, but where's it ultimately things people look at me for? So, there's a little frustration on my end. There needs to be some cooperation both ways when there's a commitment made. Follow that through. Cooperation needs to be built on trust and a full understanding, knowing that everybody is going to have a full picture. Right. So that's mm -hmm. bringing a good notice, a written notice, have making sure you're involving all the players that you need to involve. That's part of the project. And that's something that's. Well, I don't have a lot of time to plan those projects. We had talked, but I think we've got an agreement now. I will speak to uh, the road crew, um, or I'll send them an email tonight. Um, they'll be up in working on that, I'm sure, at some point, uh, probably tomorrow, if not then, uh, Wednesday. There'll be something in Ray. I'll ask you um, to go and. In, in, it help with that and figure something out. And just, I just want to uh, also announce, Ray. Ray has always been on the select board, as everyone knows or has known for a number of years, uh, and worked with um, Dubois for years doing engineering and such. And last year, went out on his own and has his own consulting business. Uh, and so he's he's working for us on a, on a, a hired basis, if you will. And again, it's something. Um, but so he's not a designer, but 
he's been overseeing a lot of our um, projects, all our FEMA projects. Um, we have enough work. Martin has enough work just running the crew on day-to-day -day stuff. Um, so that's why we have Ray doing what he's doing. Uh, and it's appreciated. Thank you, Ray. He does a hell of a job. I just want to add one, one thing. Uh, when we had the storm in December and we had the school flooding again, the engineer from the school did look at the drainage in that area and he made the conclusion that Fox Farm Road was the issue with the school flooding. Okay, I, I'm, sorry. I, I'm willing to give you that. No, but <laughs> as I said, you want to start the problem at the top. It solves her problem, the school problem. It wasn't due to the neighbors that are on the left right. side of Fox Run Road. If we divert 30, you know, put that there, you know, I'm, you know, we'll do it. But I don't know what happens to them to blow out those houses, blow out their response, what somebody else's house. I think all of the town is do, do we don't have to do something different. All of the town is expecting it is to replace the culverts that are there with the same size that was there that are flooded. If it doesn't work then, then then I think it's a, a, another problem. Well, but what if we make the problem worse for the other people as well? Do, are we, do we then have to change something else to change the water again so we don't flood their houses? The culverts have been in place there since that road was built back in the 90s. So that's all we're expecting is to put those cul get those cul culverts operable again, like they were supposed to when the road was built. And if there's still a problem, then I think then we have to look at some other areas. But so, so when so the road was built, the culverts were put in, there was not a problem. When they were functioning, when they were put in. When they stopped functioning, is when the problem was developed. I, I can tell you that's the thing. That's why we have a And I'm not saying it's not causing the problem. What I'm saying is, are you going to do anything to, to the pit? Isn't Herbal Road a town road? Yes. Herbal Road is a town. Are you going to make a bigger culvert by Cravens to take that water? Are you going to make a bigger culvert by. Mm -hmm. by uh, I, 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 I mean, I get, I get that the road, that they weren't until they didn't. But at the same time, we didn't get storms like this. I grew up in this town too. You know who I am. You know, Dick Dick is his lad. And I call him that as well because he's my father. <laughs> so I grew up in this town. We didn't get these kind of storms. I mean, I'm facing thirty thousand dollars worth of bill in six months on my own personal driveway. Dad's he never been one out like that. You know, when I grew up as a kid. You know, maybe once in a great while we might have some you know, of damage. The problems could fix it in a, in a couple hours. Thanks for it. Look at three days worth of work on my own private driveway after that storm. So I get, I get, we need to improve our culvert, but what are we going to do to keep sure to make sure we don't make it worse for somebody else downstream? I'm all happy to make it better, but we need to think about the people below us as well. And those culverts aren't going to keep up with a new 30 inch culvert if we put that in. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. All right. So well, thank you. Until we know what's the right solution, right. why spend the money now and then it blows out our neighbors? But why don't we find out what the problem is from those experts and do the right thing? You just want to replace the culprit. That's what the experts want to do. That's what the experts <laughs> on one world can wrong. Like you said, we got to find out. What all the problems are. Pick it. Just fix one little thing and think it's going to. But it's. So I don't appreciate threatening phone calls either. And that's what it was. I think it's rather childish and inappropriate. Mm -hmm. So he did. And now he's threatened and he goes and digs a ditch. So, so I think you're going to get the culverts fixed the way they were before, correct? Yeah. All right, that's all we've asked. Okay. And you're going to fix the other thing? I will. And I think it makes sense to put together a small committee with with some expertise, and maybe we can use some of that uh, Jeffords money in terms of housing mitigation to bring together uh, the three or four bodies that are affected by uh, the water wound. And if you could do that, then that would be great. John said that he didn't show up because he didn't want to lose his pool. Yeah, John, John sent us, and he said he'd represent her own, so I can't, I can't. I don't think we need like, they, I just, uh, we should get a pirate. We need to find out how to deal with resiliency in terms of that whole area. Well, the way to do that, we'll hire an engineer. 
Not me. Yes. I have a brown hair engineer. Well, I'm not a resident, an engineer. <laughs> well, I have a hired engineer to prove the schedules. Well, good. Are you going to put in that recommendation? Yes. There it is. All right. Thanks. All right, so uh, Ray, is there anything else you have? So, Rick, did you have any? Pull up now. We can just talk about some of the finances, if you will. Okay. Did you have any indications of um, costs for this one? Yes. Uh, I I wouldn't be surprised if it reaches to the more than two million dollars. So we got to figure out. How we're gonna pay for this? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and immediately we've already got bills of over a hundred grand. Yeah. Um, so we got a bill from. Is that what I'm yeah, I think see that, like, we have. There's, yeah, the checks we can sign up there. So we've been, we're sending everything else. To hey, we're trying to discuss some stuff here. If everyone can please hold it down. Um. So we have. Right now, guys, just so everyone knows, we're $165,915 behind the eight ball. $169,915. No, that's what our, um, that's where we are as far as operating, uh, operating expenses. So I do know that FEMA is, there's no telling when the money is going there's a four hundred sixty thousand dollars approval somewhere. Okay. To get somebody to say when we're going to get that money, what's that cost? Yeah. Right. So where it's, it's, where it's, it's in FEMA. It's in FEMA. And you know, do you know the exact figure? I can. Mean, if you can get it for me for tomorrow, then I can reach out. To Jeffers. Ah, Jeffers, he's got me calling. Well, oh, well to Jeffers. You call him. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what, John? Is there a. Yeah, so when people talk, it goes. It's just somebody's laughing. If I know that and if there's a name, then I can push them to get that. Pushed up to us okay. um, sooner than we are. Because we're obviously we need more cash for here right now. Um, the other and so that that four hundred sixty we should cover what we have uh, for cost last year that we expended. I mean, we should have cost them a number more box set. That really gets us back to what we put out for you. Or the last year, so last year. That's just the last year. But that would give us money in the bank. That's, that's money. Right. That right. Yeah. 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 Where can we do it? Yeah. Where can we do it from last year? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's not a sign of the we're just getting a design. Yeah, 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 the people to get some clarification where they just go ahead mm -hmm. with that one, they'll cover it all on more work that we have out for bid. Right. The temporary cover washed out. Yeah. <laughs> so we've had to put the temporary back in. It's, it's just not going to make it through the winter. Mm -hmm. So in order to expedite the process, we'd like to have people just say uh, hire a contractor, like the seller who's already there. And Ramrod, the same field. We've had uh, Ireland has given us some options of culverts that are already made, but they're not exactly the design. Uh, what was designed? They're a little bit larger. 
Right. Little different, you know. Uh, when you say larger, are they for capacity wise? Yeah, the larger, the larger, larger, larger the better. Yeah. Yeah. It's a just a matter, I hope, of somebody saying, "Yeah, why, why not?" Wait, it makes wait. sense, right? So who does that? Who makes because of him? When I was Jeffrey said that he's going to finger up the team and he can get some of these things done. So if I know that guy who, who needs to approve this culvert, we can have them. Okay. Uh, Betty, Jaren, okay. What's that? We Jaren have to look at that well, team or all of our team. You guys kind of already have clearance. So we already have. Yeah. We already have. This is this is like higher up, I think. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, I sent the email out regarding the culvert on Saturday when I first heard that I had something available. Um, and I sent it to our representative, team of representatives, and he was looking into that. I've been out of email search sure. most of the day, so I, I really don't know what there's been. Um, so let uh, me, tonight or tomorrow, whenever you do it, add that to the list to add to me between that name and the other. Yep. The one with the money that has the money. Uh, so that's where we stand on that. Uh, yeah, there are several, several culverts available. I'm hoping that we can get some of this done. I think we're there. Hopefully. Yeah. And obviously, the, the one by the warehouse is it's not going to happen. It's just it's too yeah, big. It's, it's too big. And they're looking at a 20 foot span. Yeah. So that's a very special Thomas Bridge. Yeah. Uh, open bottom. Yeah. Is that here in Brook? Is that where it crosses? Yeah. Right here on uh, Yeah. 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 Right. And it's washed out several times. Every time we said we need to learn, they always said no. But now they finally said yes. <laughs> but uh, uh, okay. So we got two major culprits on the common road. Right? Really, I really need to be replaced. Why can't we replace them? With one we've worked on already, we put it in temporary five foot culvert. The other one we haven't got to yet. The road's still open, it's a 20 foot drop. Is that the one we were going to replace anyways? This yes, time? we put in a grant application. So we got the grant for that. So I, the was... the grant. I don't think we got approved yet. We put the application in. But the one, one that we did get a, uh, approval for was the the other five foot. Yeah, all right. The other five foot was a was a permanent one. We put that in today. Okay. So that's done. So you put in a grand team with our cover on that. Okay. But there's two other large colors up there. That, that we have not grants been. outstanding. Outstanding. Okay. And unfortunately, if you go down the top of the road, it looks like there's a big crack along that whole side of that road. Yeah. For about 400 feet that I don't know. That's another issue of compliance, but uh, uh, we had we may have some more issues up there. Is that is it going? Is this slide it, like a slide, a potential slide in the river towards the river? Four hundred feet long. Oh yeah, that's not yeah. really good. If you go up there, you will see it. It's got it's just about the temporary tall that we put in. No, on the road, are we talking about? Yeah. What about the road going up the middle section? You've been up on that inside corner just before Foster Road. You've seen that, that, that thing's getting worse by the day because I've had to build the properties up there. And it's got a one lane traffic. And there's a couple cones up. There's probably some more cones up. Where was that again? Uh, so if you go up top and go left to go to the middle sex, yep. oh, yeah. you can get out there yeah. and inside that inside corner right before Foster Road on the far side of the house farms. And, and yeah, like, that's why we have the road closed. Yeah. Well, so no, it's no, it's no, 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 I have to manage my crack property up there because you know, you need north fast marriage. What's that? that? You turn to go to north. You know, no, no, turn to the south. It's the same road we're talking about. Okay. So it's like the top of the top. Yeah. Yeah, because I drove out there today because I had to make sure the excavators go because we completely replaced the culvert for one of the guys' past friends and I had to rebuild the driveway. And there were real sketchy machines out there. Yeah. So that, is that where it's, the common road starts going up and coming coming from uh, the Middlesex side and going up the common road? Is that going up the hill? Yeah, so with, with yeah. one power, it's down a little portal. This is all that. It's the column he's talking about is with you know, half mile further up the hill. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we're going to go to the next area tomorrow and 
temporary fix something at that point. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> but there is another, I'm glad you're here because there's another issue that's going to come up uh, and it affects Hog Hollow and, and Jones Wardbrook. Uh, and that is when we do the permanent culvert on Wardbrook, we need to shut down the road for probably two weeks. And we need to have some sort of access. And the access is our column from, from River Road up past John's house in that area. Is that going to be passable? Well, we need to make it passable. Well, I, 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 I just hiked it yesterday. Yeah. And um, the worst spot is, uh, is, is just past my house yeah. and up the, the steep hill. And then there's just one other part about a quarter mile that, that is three inside the channels. After that, it's just wet as hell. Yeah. Um, I mean, look, you're going to have to. You know, I, I, I totally get it. I mean, okay. if, if, you know, you got to do what you have to do. Right. Um, right. And it, it's not a permanent thing. We can take it back out if we want or whatever we want to do, I guess. But we, we need to have, need to do something while we're doing these culverts. And that is the only way that I know of to get to that, for those residents to get in and out. While Can we out. use the gravel that we're digging out of the culverts in for that? So we, we're not- We've had a lot of gravel that we have piled up that can be used for that. Okay. The, the big thing is, you know, we're working on the class four road. Right, upgrading. Upgrading. Yeah. upgrading. Yeah. 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 We're trying to upgrade that road to a class three road. Yeah. Well, well that's a legal trail, technically. Yeah. Well, that, that was my question. Yeah. But, yeah. but, but yeah. I understand what, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I totally get it. I'm not trying to improve a road permanently. No, no, I have a road. I, well, what I was going to say is we may want to plan to take that gravel back out of there yeah, yeah. because otherwise it's going to send a bunch of people are going to start driving that way. Yeah, well, I, 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 you know, I, I agree. I don't want to make that permanent right. road. I'm just saying that should be an account plan. I, I'm being a building contractor, I see a lot of people do stuff. Up front, they don't think about downturn, like all the still things I have to put up to, to build a house to your river. You know, yeah, yes, yeah, put it up. You didn't tell me how to take it down, but you didn't tell me how to finish landscape, so then I just go tear it down while we're in the river anyway, yeah. because I can't get machines back in there to dig it out because I can't take it down before finish landscape. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we, we can have some discussions about that and to make it to where it's not a, a road that people think they can take all, all right. the time. Uh, and we're trying to keep the time to a minimal. I don't so want to build it at the moment, we're six months out. I don't want to build the road down. Yeah. I want to build the road as close to when we need that rather than. How long do you think uh, that road would be needed? Two weeks. Well, two weeks. Maybe two weeks. Why are we trying to get your permission? Though? That's my question. They're not. They're not. They're not. They're, they're, not, not, they're, 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 they're being. Uh, well, you're making it sound like it's your road. It's their road. I mean, it's their road. You know what? You're yeah. making presumptions. They're, they're Who is your Okay, you're asking me a question and I'm giving them an answer, but you're right. They can do whatever they want. It's a, it, it is a public road. It's, it's there. And there's it's a true. very, yeah. very uh, curious, and I appreciate it. Well, that's the first time they've been curious. So let's be well, well, you know, Travis. I'll take it. I'll take it. But and I'm not going to be curious, too. I think the town is yeah. just trying to work with the neighbors. And the most effective one. We and and one, one of the things that I think needs to be done is to make sure is, is that there, there was some. Uh, uh, water bars, erosion bars that no longer existed, and that's why the class three portion of Hawkeye got damaged. Yeah. So, yeah. those are the things. Uh, I, I know there's been discussions about that, but uh, I don't know how my wife is going to feel about this, but uh, I, I understand. I mean, you got to do what you have to do you know, with regards to having access for those folks to do the job. If it's what, so culvert side. Um, Marker is right, that big one by about the one down below by uh, Mount Glorious. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, really, if you're talking about people getting out, it's the people above that. So if there's, you know, there's uh, yeah. a few years, there's about half a dozen people, yeah. maybe yeah. half a dozen houses up there, but we can't, we can't just say residents only, or we could say that, but right, <laughs> <don't be wrong. laughs> but, well, it, it's yeah, it's say so we can make change. But, uh, but I, I mean, if they know that they can go that way, and it's not. Right, they'll go that way. I mean, it is what it is. And like I said, it's, well, we have to, you know, we, we, sorry for the disruption, but 
we need to put the road in. You yeah. Know? And no, I, I, I already had a track of fair on Dalsville yesterday. <laughs> okay, what is all that? I mean, I, and I, I, I've done huge construction projects too, where we've had everything things like that, where people were not very happy when we moved a thousand trucks by their house or a short period. Well, if there's six people and then there's just not a ton of people, I mean, you're going to get some traffic, but it is what it is. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, we don't have any choice. Yeah, right? you can't shut people off if you're able to do it. Um, but I think it is a good idea to when you know do what we can, but when it's done, you know, let's let's take out what we can too. What is that schedule to happen? Well, it all depends. If we have to we can use a culprit that's already built, which is what we're trying to do. Yeah. It, or if we have to wait and have one right. that's being made. Right. Yeah. I mean, it could be as early as a month, it could be as late as November. Right, but somehow we're going to get a call in there. Yeah. Maybe what we go there. So, and even if we improve the road since it's a legal trail, is there some way we could kind of block it for you know, vehicles at that point? You know, yeah, after it's been bad. improved, no. I don't mean you know. I just mean well, like you know, I'll issue it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's just like it'll yeah. become yeah. unmaintained. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we can put a local traffic only something. Yeah, I just I would. After that, I, I know. I mean, I'm people here first, and I get that, but yeah. there's gonna be you know, you know, help. <laughs> Living on one arm, we don't help, but you know, it helps a little bit. Something. All right, so anything else, right? We'll just uh, start. that's it for the Prima stuff. Okay, and we've got pooling out here in the yard. Yeah, uh, yeah, we lost a, we are we lost a week uh, out of the park lot because of the storm, but I still feel confident that. Uh, it will be paid before uh, school opens. So, uh, is the town crew going to stop working on the parking lot and just let the pool and do it now? So the town's got so much work. To do. It, it was always the plan to have pool finish up the drainage work. Yeah. And um, we ran into uh, along the bus lane, uh, so a really bad area with some play. And the town crew was trying to get it done, and then the storm came. So I had cool and come in over the weekend and yeah. kind of closed that up because yeah. it was really bad there. Yeah. That was here yesterday. I've never seen yeah. such uh, sludge like that. Yeah. Deep yeah. down, they were yeah. way it's weird. Weird. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. weird stuff. It's bad yeah. stuff. Yeah. Snow it's it's horrible. So we got some good stone in there now um, with fabric. We um, put some more drainage in. So, um, so to get back to the question, I think the road crew may get back over here next week. But if, if they don't, we'll have somebody. We're going to keep on going forward yeah. as best as we can. Yeah, okay. and, um, as you know, the school got flooded. So there's a lot of equipment around the school that needs to move mm -hmm. out of the way. The, uh, the equipment they use to dry the, the school out with. Right. It's all supposed to be out by Wednesday night. And that would free up the, the, the sidewalks. On the <laughs> so just before we leave the flood of 2024. Um, so some of the funds that we need, mm -hmm. you mentioned this when I talked to you the other day. Are we gonna like have to borrow money? I mean, we're not gonna have all the FEMA money that we last year we, for this year, and you know, we're gonna have to do some juggling. We may. So in a moment ago, I, I actually misspoke. We're actually currently one hundred and fifty-six thousand dollars yeah. in the behind. So uh, I made up seven thousand already. Um, so the 162 and 915, where that come from came from is that's some of the ARPA money that we had left over. And so we were thinking, if you remember back, um, depending on how the tax rate came out, we were thinking we put that towards the tax rate. Right. But after the tax rate did what it did, and it seems like it's reasonable, it's not great, but it's much better than what we were all expecting. I would say that we move that 162.915 into the general fund so that we can um, pay our bills. Pay our bills. <laughs> um, so that will take care of that. And then we have looked into a loan, a $3 million loan for 12 months at 4.5.5% that I think we should move ahead on four just 4.5%. Um, and that's Northfield Savings Bank. Yeah, um, 
And I think we should move forward on that. Hopefully we don't need it because we've got this 460 coming in mm -hmm. from FEMA. Um, and we're going to be sending out our tax bills Wednesday or Thursday or mm -hmm. tomorrow or whenever. So we'll, we'll have the cash flow will start to improve again. Um, so what's there? That's a three million dollars dollar dollar juggling. We got some yeah. juggling. So that's like a three million dollar line of credit, basically. Basically, yes, okay. that is correct. Okay. Yeah. So again, With that, if it's for FEMA expenses, you can get your interest reimbursed. Yes, that's correct. Right. Right. Thank you. Well, that's even better reason. But because, yeah. Yeah. Yes. you can get your interest reimbursed. Okay. Yeah. So it makes more sense when I've learned that. Thank you. Right. Is a town clerk and treasurer? Treasurer. We know that. Is that something? The only other thing uh, we have a uh, signage bid for the parking lot out here. Uh -huh. uh, I think it's part of the year. Uh -huh. There was only one bid. Yeah. Um, This is uh, Lafayette. Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. Um, so it looks like we have a bid, and this is for the uh, the signage out here, right? Yeah. Well, uh, just the handicap yes. and loading zone sign, kind of thing. Uh, entered signs, right? That's showing the parking lot. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Thank you. Let's see if there's a problem here. Um, so the, it comes out to uh, $7,320. Um, let's see if you'll ask. Yeah, I would do that. I feel comfortable with them. They can meet our schedule. All right. I'd uh, move to accept the FR Lafayette Inc. Um, uh, project bid for $7,320. Uh, uh, for the work of the uh, signs as um, described here in the uh, unit price schedule. D4, there's two signs. There, yeah. there, there's eight, yeah. 16. There's like 22 signs, it looks like. And, uh, Second. Thank you. Uh, any further discussion on it? All in favor, vote aye. Yeah. Aye. You. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thanks, Ray. I think that I think we were positioning the you better he gets to get the right. I don't know. He gets to get paid for it. We yeah, know they're doing a rain dance the other day. Uh, oh, like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm probably fifteen thousand dollars again in my backyard. I know when they talked about getting rid of the gravel, I was like, yeah, ask Ray how hard it is to get rid of the gravel by his house. <laughs> you need an act of Congress. Yeah. 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 Ray, what time can we talk in the morning? What's that? What time can we talk in the morning? I, uh, I plan on being here some about 7.30. I'll okay. be here at this office. Yep. So you can call me or... Yeah, we'll see you in some... I'll look at that stuff tonight for you. Thanks. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, Ray. All right, thank Paula, you. thank you for being very patient. Well, I figured you really like this stuff. Okay. All right, so uh, Paula's here for the class four and legal trail committee. Watch. So the committee can interview about the. Um, you want to sit down or stand up? Or? All right, yeah, go ahead and stand up. Yeah. Um, but uh, so Bob is here and John is here from the Thank from you. the Indian calendar. John. So you have a really a, a great representative representation from different boards and a couple of residents. Bob has showed up about pretty much every day, every meeting, and the other side comes here as well. And um, so what I have here is. A, Cover letter explaining a couple of things that we'd love to maybe um, we recommend that we put on the um, uh, website. 
the board or the committee voted unanimously with all these changes that what was Cameron was wonderfully helpful because of the it was out when we really needed um, his guidance because he was the one that's really working with this policy. Um, so what um, I pointed out was probably three typos in there. So that I can correct them and send them to Sasha, but they don't change the context of the language. Um, it's, I don't, I think we want to go through it all with you today because it would take a good length of time. If you read it on your own and then want us to come back in and talk about it, we'd be happy to do that. I think that's a great idea, is uh, rather than just trying to figure it out and go back yeah. and forth. Yeah. Um, we'll take some time. We use consistent terms, um, highway instead of road and legal trail instead of prayer. So those are some things that uh, we incorporated. We used the DLC you know, models and the model road models and the county from other Berlin. Well, thanks. I know it's something that I had been asking for. Um, wanted an update, and so you guys, I know it's in support trails. There's a lot of stuff back here, but and a lot of things for towns to figure out. So I think this is a great start. Um, I'll take some time, and I'm sure the rest of the board will. And then the, probably in a month or so, um, we'll have you back. Um, yeah, I'm sure there'll be some questions, and at that point, we can hopefully um, ratify this and, and move forward. Great. What, what, what I would add is, is the, the, the cover letter kind of talks about that really addresses one of the margin concerns was, was that, that, that people, uh, that let's say, are going on, on a class quarter road, and they have an expectation that the town is going to, to, to maintain that road. So the, the, what we talked about in the cover letter you know, talks about making it really clear that, that people need to look at the information, look at the state statute that makes it very, very clear that the official town is not obligated to maintain class four roads. And I think the storms like this are, you know, a great example of why there needs to be some ownership on them, though, where we need to figure out, all right, who's going to take care of it and, and how it does. And, and think, on that on home page was to give um, viewers direct links instead of saying, you know, this, this a, a lot to the website. So if, if there were, you know, the five or six direct links, well, here's the road policy, here's the yeah. statue, here's a map, yeah. here's a list of the roads, class four, class three, um, A, B. Yeah. No, I think that's good. And no, but it's always clear if someone's looking at right a piece of property, they go yeah. right. Yeah. So yeah. that for those B bars are cover letter that was good, like I was cut and paste from the home page. Okay. So and you sent this electronically. Like, okay. okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. First one on the board who can send me the typos tonight. Uh oh, we'll get a prize. I'll <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I couldn't find them. So who knows? Yeah, I thought you could. Well, you could point them out, I guess. Right. Actually, I will. You can type it in that document, so I'll just show you which one. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the S. No. All right, no, then we can just change and right. fire it out. Yeah. Yeah. It's always good to have a few layers. Of course, no one has to do Even now, I'm going to say, even. And it was a bot found them, is that what it was? Yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, we didn't have a typo on an anticipated. <clears throat> so there we read a lot of their emails. You may find a few of those, but oh, I want to thank the three of you guys for coming tonight. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I know it was a long, long, little longer than what you were expecting, and uh, but I'm glad we were able to get to it. Uh, yeah. And I know you guys have really, really yeah, made, you made it, it and you guys cranked it out. All of us are they heard in the cats. Yeah, <laughs> I was getting the email, so I saw it. Yeah, yeah, he just started to be very well. Well, that's kind of what yeah. you need is someone to, to do that. Thank you, Paula. How's Mike? Yes.
All good. He's done it. Yeah, you both both look great. Yeah. yeah, no, we're fortunate. We didn't have anyone. And our neighbor, you know, just had a little echo and he walked through. So oh, great. Happened. That's nice to hear. Yeah, terrific. Good. Well, thank you. Be careful driving home, everyone. Or you don't have to leave, but I mean, no. when you go home. You will. Um, any questions to the committee on this guys, ladies? I don't know. We can go from there. All right. John, you're up next. You have the hazard mitigation recommendations. Correct. And uh, did everybody have an opportunity to read the, the part of the recommendations of the selection committee that's the sharing one? Uh, let me find it because I did actually, but I we're not sure. And, and we, we we had four uh firms, including the uh legal planning commission to make proposals. Yeah. And and uh, yeah, right. kind of kind of split it up in two that there was uh with their total costs were all within five six hundred dollars, they're all in the nine thousand range. Uh, but what's really interesting is that two two of the consulting firms thought that they could do it half the time that the two other firms did, and and the labor thinking that they could people in about the hours, which I think is a little uh, optimistic. And where the other two firms, uh, including the, the planning commission, and then also seen were were uh, they estimated about a hundred hundred. 106 for one and 107 hours for another. You know, we're not going to know exactly how much it's going to be, but that seemed more realistic. And their their uh, hourly rate was less. Okay. So so Karen and I were kind of we kind of narrowed it down to those two. And yeah. and and the reason we decided to go with the uh, firm machine was uh, number number one is is I think uh, the person that's at, that's doing the work has a lot of experience working with eTrans and also uh, the modern emergency management on hazard mitigation plans, and and the other is the 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 planning committee the, the regional planning commission has gone through a lot of turnover, and uh, you know they have a lot of experience doing the plans, uh, but the people that actually did the plans <laughs> aren't there, yeah, really. so. We were kind of going back and forth. So in my recommendation, I said we, we think that it's worth having this firm and uh, seeing do the work based on their experience, and we think they have the capacity to do it. But that said, if if you want to go with what we've done in the past, then uh, we 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 do that recommend or having a, a, yeah, an entity that has the institutional knowledge, maybe not the actual people that do it, but the institutional knowledge, then, then uh, the, the uh, regional planning commission would be great. Uh, you know, is, is a viable option. But from our perspective, we recommend you see it. Yeah. Um, so the, I'll just real quick, just the bids. Um, scene came in at 9,600. Uh, Central Vermont Regional Planning, uh, $9,434. So that's said $166 more at SEAM. And then $9,000 for Threat Owl and OPH Consulting was $9,000. Right. So we're. Um, but the hourly rates. Hourly rates. Were higher than less. Right. right. And we're talking right. about $150 an hour as opposed yeah, to $90. 50 hours to do it. In, in our in this topography and stuff, and, 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 <laughs> and the way I looked at it from a cost standpoint, all of those are, are roughly the same cost. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a couple dollars yeah. either way. That's yeah. not so. Uh, so if you're getting a hundred hours for the price of fifty, then that's uh, are they that much? Are they that much better, better to warrant it, or is it so? So, um, you know, we we test both you and Karen. I guess took this on. Um, very confident in what you've done, Karen, with the BLCT and you with uh, the government as well. Uh, so we have confidence in you, or I do. So I would move to accept Seam's um, um, proposal for $9,600 um, for our hazard mitigation plan. Consult. That's a second. We already got it over here. Any further discussion on that? Yeah. All in favor, vote aye. 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 I, I have one uh, question. What do I do now? 
Get the, the that that will take care of that yeah. stuff. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now that we okay. have that, that'll uh, yeah. she has who's the winner. We will take care of that. Move forward with that. Uh, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, ladies. And and uh, boy, you have a hard job. I, you know, I'm glad you got to take a big box to do Yeah. Well, that's all right. We try to do what we can and. Uh, but thanks. Yeah, thanks for putting it out. Great. We'll see you guys. Thank you, Mr. Sergeant. And thank you, uh, Bob. And now the next thing up is the Madden Valley Rec um, discussion. I think maybe we should. I mean, we got an awful lot of stuff going on. Should we? Talk about it the next game. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. I didn't put it for now. Yeah, let's table this. Yeah, okay. um, yeah, I would agree. The only thing I could do now was just say no. So I think yeah, that, yeah. Table yeah. Let's let's say unless we just want to say no. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm thinking. You just want to say no. Yeah, so I, I, I think it warrants a little more discussion. So yes, yeah, I would agree. We, just flat, right? <laughs> we can't afford it. <laughs> yeah, let's see what we have. So in reality, and then you know, and also we have to review the documents at this stuff. Yeah. So yeah. So, all yes. right. So um that brings us into the reports and communications part of the meeting. And I think we mostly reported out, but um Sasha, let me see what you have for us. The first thing on my list is reminding you about the maintenance reserve for the 2015 Act at 1558 dollars and 24 cents. Do you want to take that out of the maintenance? Maintenance reserve. reserve. I think we'd all agree, right, folks? What was that for? Um that was the Radiator, I think. Wasn't that the radiator for the, it's for the Mac, but I'm not sure. Oh, it was in the radio. It wasn't the engine thing. No, no, no it's not the Okay. But this, this no, this was for actually, this was different. This is Rodney's truck. Rodney's thing. Okay. And what was the amount? What's that? The truck struck the Mac. Yeah. What was the amount? Oh, no. I'm sorry. 1500. Okay. And that, whatever. It's not but it's like, for the Mac. It's not like $30,000. Yeah. Okay. Uh, moved uh, pay for the MAC bill out of the maintenance reserve fund. Thanks. Thank you, Kelly. All in favor, but I. Thank you. All right. Thank you, John. It's time to lay here. What else, Sasha? Um, I don't know after tonight's meeting, I'm still willing to do it, but Dick Bell is netting would like to be reappointed to the health officer. I have a form for official <laughs> I go to the point, Dick Baltinetti, health officer. Second. Any further discussion on that? I wonder if will Mr. Valentini be inspecting the school from the water sanitary. You guys are terrible. <laughs> All in favor. That would be something I would say. I would say. All in favor. All in favor. All in favor. So moved. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 This is just kind of uh, letting you know. She was kind of coming in to make sure that it was okay. But Elva against uh, their house got flooded, and the only way she can get to their backfield is coming around. So they're going to use their ATV just to get to sure. The back. That's just, fine. Just know. Yeah, that's nice. She left a budget status report for you all. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. And that's all I have. All right. Yes, thank you. Robin, what do you want to chat about tonight? Uh, I have nothing. All right. So I want to thank the road crew and everybody all the work you're doing. It's, it's been phenomenal. Like, the amount of work they've done in three days is just unbelievable. Yeah, we've been, you got some good, like you said, you got Casella over here. <laughs> Boys are professional. Casella has been absolutely. Amazing to work with. They're fabulous. I think Sean has done most of the work with them because he's been the only one. Yeah, he's the only one on your side. side. He's yeah. been like so. he's overseeing everything. I know I've talked to a couple of truck drivers, and like I said, they're pleasant, 
they liked the work. Yeah. And there was no bitching. I mean, there was Sunday afternoon they were working. Minimal. I didn't know they had a road division. Right? Yeah, they had a small construction company. So oh, they were yeah. 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 I mean, they had. When they say they have big iron, they have big iron. Yeah. I mean, the excavator that's still parked at our house that broke down is huge. Massive. Massive. Because they have to put the backwards. It's supposed to be because it's going to take the culvert out again in a funky angle. But they also enjoyed me sitting out on their lawn watching them do that. And when it started raining, the guy opened his door and said, can you uh, roll up the windows in my truck? <laughs> but you did that for them? So they, I mean, they've been. Good to hear. Good. Don, Don. Um, well, not a lot, because it's been a, a long night, but I, I, I wish I, well, Ray was here, or maybe I can call him and ask him tomorrow, but. Uh, the mayor's called me. This is relative to the floods. Um, and so where Dowsbrook blew out the bridge mm -hmm. and also did some serious damage to their lower field there, and also near the but from what she said on the phone, their septic field. And so she was wondering where where does she I mentioned her 211 that she right. should try. Definitely make music to that. Just do that first and then right. You know, um, I would bring it up tonight to ask what else. What else should you do? Right. Start with that, or I think that's the deal. You have to start. That's a okay. starting point for everybody. All right, so I'll verify that because they don't have a. They don't have computers. Yep. So two on one. Oh, telephone. Yeah. A little ride and then dial. Uh, yeah. Just for a little food, food for thought, basically, because it is relative to food. Um, so in Wood Swim Hall, which has become, well, it was always known as the Wood uh, River Fishing Access, I think back in the day, I don't think it was ever referred to as a swim hall. But it certainly is that, over here. about 100 feet, yep. okay. which has become very, 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 very popular. I mean, uh -huh. I've gone by there and seen people, cars out on parked on the road. So, and I'm... Only bring this up. I mentioned it to uh, Carol, you know, the Zumpa ZA. Um, so there's been a food truck there recently. So I stopped to see him and said, Hey, you know, what's what's up? Do you have, you know, do you have a permit for this? And he went, No. And I said, I'm not, I don't even know if you need one, but you know, what's happening, you know, I know this is public park and right. You know, and he's doing his trash and he's got recycling and he's, you know, making sure everything is fine. And I don't think we're going to make a decision right now. Carol, Carol is going to look into it. I don't know if it's even maybe even when the planning board's working on the new that's town the plan. Yeah. You know, maybe, you know, maybe that's our, our future source of income. We could have a bunch of food trucks there. But no, I'm just kidding. Like, have food truck and all the people there, we're going to need, you know, is it? Gonna need a bigger park on the Well, yeah. no, I mean a uh, uh, most uh, uh, well, that we wouldn't need to have a, a different party there. So, oh, you know, maybe, yeah, you know, because then yeah. a little later on, I was having my creamy at Red Hen, and I saw a woman with her towel wrapped around her going in to use the bathroom. Right. You know? I mean, right. that's a problem what they have to do. They either go, well, because well, there's no public point. bathrooms at roots. So, in any event, it's just something, yeah. you know, I didn't get a taco. It was a taco truck. I've heard they're really good, but, and I'm not sure what should be happening. Well, I think you've done the right thing. You've asked Carol about it. Have yeah. Carol look into it first to see where we stand zoning yeah. eyes on something like that. And then. I mean, maybe it's not a bad thing. It's just, you know, as long as. It's I, don't know what, state, I don't really know what the law is. I don't, I don't either. Know, you know, I know you need a. But I mean, what's that name? Where that where we park? A, a public park, or is it? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it must be a public park. Oh, oh, obviously. Anyway, yeah, probably they need permission. You know, 
again, once again, it's an enforcement issue. Who are we going to send that? You know, we're going to send yeah. Steph on over there. And no, I mean, say, maybe Sasha could be the food police. Yeah. So exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, but you know, I just envisioned all of a sudden there was going yeah, to be two know. or three, and then there got to be trash, or yeah. then you need to have a four. Yeah. So there already people. You don't have to talk to her. Ask her to. Um, well, I have talked to her already, so she is looking oh, into it. I was going to yeah. say because I think other towns have. You know, these all season, you know, uh, food trucks and things yeah. show up. So maybe there's something yeah. out there. Maybe it's South Bank, like in Berlin, when they sell Christmas trees at the mall, they have to get a package yeah. from. I mean, they're supposed to get yeah. to be there. Yeah. Well, that's one of the things. I mean, I know we have the uh, town meeting committee was in here and they were talking about you know taxes i mean so even you know maybe a, a business tax of one percent so that would be another you know how do you do 25 dollars foot drops right, things like that <laughs> I but i think um, maybe that's something that's uh, it's the first time i mean i just oh you know okay i've been it's not like i was born raised here but i've raised here but i've been here for 35 years and over those 30 years that place has just become yeah so busy and you know so many people right go so to go and, and the thing is give us someone there what's today that sunday yesterday i guess there was two or three cars there and there were people in the water wow. I, I saw that too i'm like oh it's like easy. Thank you. I, I think it was had that same reaction I there were people who were behind you like you know what's sure. <laughs> It's right. been in the new paper, the news, don't go in the water, and then okay, yeah. what you can you? leave whatever. All right. Uh, anyway, okay, so that's all I have. Okay, okay, I have one other thing. I did get a call this morning from somebody, and I know they sent an email to Sasha about logging. Oh, oh that's why. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know what to tell the guy, but I told him to send an email. I mean, there's right. I, mean, I, I saw that, that, that we can do, yeah. but he was complaining about losing crap. Oh, that was um. Oh. A team mold, yeah. Is on there. Yeah, so we should have had you know, Mike Brown. Like yeah, yeah, you know, I know. I think I, that's I, like when he was here when he was. Well, well we were into other stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. I didn't know what I told him. I didn't know what the side for it. And it's probably doing it, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, right. Like, it's rain, perhaps, you know, he's. He would have been here talking. The rain about and the guy lost a lot of gravel. It's kind of like you know, he, you know, we got other instances of that where there's no logging going on. So <laughs> a lot of gravel went downstream. All right, one for that. Dog. So you're all set. Yeah. So did we? Um, I talked about that money. Yes. Did we go ahead and move that 162? We didn't make that motion, did I? Should we move that, or should we wait on the three million dollar loan? Well, I think we need, exactly. to move, we need to move with 162 knowing that we right now because okay. we're 156 okay. behind. Okay. Right. But that this, but that does include what we paid out today. So uh or what we're going to sign on today. So that, okay. so we're actually good as long as we're there. So I'd move that we um transferred 162,915 of the ARPA funds into the general fund. Second. Any further discussion on uh any further discussion on that? I'm sorry. All fair to that. All right. All right. And what's, and we discussed this before, mm -hmm. I just want to make sure everyone's on the same page. Everyone thinking that the $3 million loan uh, is something we should move forward with, especially given the fact that interest will be covered up with FEMA mm -hmm. or backed by FEMA. Yeah. And this is only. So I would move to, um, Take that loan of three million dollars over twelve months at four percent interest. Um, from the North Field Savings Bank. So is it only based on what you take out of the three million? Yes, so yeah, it's a line of credit. It's based on line of credit. credit. Okay. Yep. Okay. Second, second, second over there. there. One. Yep. Thank you. Any further discussion on it? All right. All in favor? What I? All right. John, thank you. Yeah. All right. So he's standing by. I think Sasha, was there any other funny things that we were supposed to look at? I think that's it. I had I had just one thing. I'm sorry, John. Yep. Go ahead, John. Go ahead, John. Yeah, I got a uh, a call from Peter Welch, and he was just letting us know that 
he's happy to follow up with FEMA on you know any of the help getting money and so on. Yeah, uh, Tom's going to get ready to give him a, a, a person to call tomorrow. I think. Yeah, we have a couple of people that we have the four hundred sixty thousand that's sitting on someone's desk. Um, we're going to start with that and. And we'll go from there. So hopefully that can move forward quicker and hopefully he can help us out. Um, and I've also, yesterday I emailed them to see if there was any interim financing that they might have. Right. That's free. So I yeah, haven't heard yeah. that. I'm not free, but. Alone, we don't have to pay back. back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what those are called, I guess, right? Yes. <laughs> um, so working hard on that. Everyone is uh, great. All the boys. Um, yeah, I, um, in driving around, I, everybody did a real good job in the cleanup. Yep. And uh, both Sasha and Sherilyn, I, they were out on uh, Thursday morning taking pictures, documenting. Um, Great. You know, Great I think everyone's it. trying to do what we can do, and we're trying to. You know, I'm trying to do what I can do correctly. You know, we have things that sometimes you can make yeah, people I mean, happy, it, but uh, it's not going to that. The, the, the scope of the damage is fine. It's just, it's just, yeah, the, and the pictures don't do any justice oh, no, at all. When you start no, no, no. walk or going in, you know, just, I mean, they literally dropped at least 100 loads of rock at Ray's house, like literally, you know, 100 feet from yeah. Ray's house, at least 100, maybe more. I mean, you know, I lost count. I know they were they were doing well. But anyways. Bill? On a home page or anything like that? Um I mean I just asked and I'll while working for the better. Yeah, probably could. Yeah. I don't that's probably a good idea. Yeah. 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 Y
We the burden of the reflects we like Like my parents are going over to the scene all and picking up a fifty pound box of chicken nuggets because he eats a rod of chicken. But you know what I'll tell you, the fifty pound bag of chicken bag. Yeah. That she'll do it at maybe. It's 20 bucks. Yeah. So those, yeah, look through. Um, you can see some of the bills. We got like yeah. Nick Bazilli there had 20 or 20,000. Holy yeah. smokes. <laughs> is that a, maybe is the next one save dollars? Oh, yeah. yeah. What's your name? Luna. Luna. I love her ears. Look at those ears. Okay. Yeah. Where's she come from? Wolf Yeah. Yeah. She looks like a nice sturdy dog, too. She can be bigger. That's thank you, sure. Did everyone sign this? Yes, this is good. But yeah, look at all the material. Thanks. It's it's that's not only the the, the pin. I just the first three days in the majority of all that's three days. That is the first three days. All the same in the trucks. So. Absolutely. All right. So we all good. Uh yeah, so it's all right. So I guess we can move to adjourn. Have a second. I'll second that, John. Oh, um, favor. Hi. Hi. Right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, John.